What is best way to avoid awkward silence in conversations? Ask a question. I had a situation at school this week where we had to bring someone in and my person bailed last minute so I had to post online and find a stranger to come in with me. We provide a service that people would need or want. So I have this stranger come in and I don't know anything about him except his name. Anytime there was a long pause I would just ask him about himself. What does he like to do? Had he done anything he was proud of during quarantine? How is he feeling with the shutdowns? How is his work affected? After learning where he works just asking more questions about his work. With friends I do the same. Ask follow-up questions to things they have said. There is always more that can be explained. Eventually they'll say something you can relate to or have something of your own to share. Do you read about things that are interesting to you? Ask them have you heard, and then tell them about something you read or saw on the news. Do you like a certain show or video game? Do they? Most important, don't rapid fire questions. Let them naturally connect. Use what they said to either comment or ask for more information. If you're jumping from question to unrelated question it's going to come off really impersonal. At worst it will seem like you're trying to control the conversation and avoid talking about yourself. This. It's all about the open-ended questions too, avoid questions that can be answered with yes, no or short phrases. In college I had a professor that would play music quietly. When we had to form groups with new people. This way when no one was talking it didn't feel like awkward silence. I would recommend this to anyone that has a group of people that are meeting for the first time. Ong my bio professor does the same thing when he makes polls during online class. Only problem is that he plays the music out of his phone into his PC's mic, which means that when we hear it, it sounds more like a demon shrieking in agony to the tune of bossa nova. Demon shrieking in agony to the tune of bossa nova. Pretty sure that's just a black metal subgenre. Any big plans for the weekend? The old barber special. Thursday to Friday, any plans for the weekend? Saturday to Sunday, how's your weekend going? Monday to Tuesday, how was your weekend? Wed, fuck. The trick I have learned as a lifelong introvert is that people love talking about themselves. For example, if they said they come from city X or country Y, you can ask them if they love living there and if yes, what do they prefer? If not, why not? Or where would they prefer living? If you can find their passion, whether it's binge watching Netflix series, making tiny glass vases for their hamsters, or going to country music festivals, you'll be golden. Even if it's not something that you yourself find interesting, you can fake it by making appropriate comments and asking follow-up questions, how did you get into that? What's your favorite series technique slash artist? What's your next project? Remember, this is about learning about them, not coming up with the most savvy reply, so actually listen to what they say. Alternatively, an awkward silence can be a great point to cut the conversation short and leave, if that's what you want to do. The problem is people who don't love talking about themselves. People who do are already extroverted and likely won't have awkward silences. But when you meet someone who doesn't like talking about themselves, it's hard to find common ground. You're basically shooting in the dark to find common ground. With those people, I've often found that some kind of weird hypothetical discussion will get them started. Hey, so odd question, my friend and I had this debate a while back. Who would win in a fight between a shark and a bear? Keep the hypothetical kind of vague by design, so they will ask follow-up questions. This specific one has gotten me involved in a number of long conversations. Once you get someone talking, it tends to branch out. Actively listening to what the other person is saying and asking them questions is a good place to start. Treat them like an NPC with a dialogue wheel. Tell me more about cheese. I like cheese too, do you have any? I'm done talking about cheese now, let's discuss something else. Pickpocket. Hi, I'm Cloudy Hero. Hello, my name is Tom. Awkward pause. How did it go? Asks Cloudy Hero. Tom looks confused. How did what go? Cloudy Hero shrugs his shoulders and clears his throat. What did you do? 
He finally asks. What are you talking about? I'm confused. Says Tom. Cloudy Hero clears his throat again and tries one last time. Tell me about that? What the hell, man? Tom answers. Tom is clearly getting annoyed. Cloudy Hero shrugs his shoulders and frowns. Tom shakes his head in frustration and walks away. Well that didn't work, Cloudy Hero thinks to himself. Cloudy Hero chatbot is confused. Thanks for watching till the end.